the wind blows through the rugged Sonora Desert in Arizona, helping shape its rocky valleys and spectacular peaks. It's a treasure of the American Southwest, but this is also a frontier land where a deadly conflict is underway. It's almost a mass disaster situation. The disaster which Dr. Hess faces is the growing number of unidentified bodies being found along Arizona's southern desert. Bodies stacked high in a fight for space and perhaps even a proper burial one day. It becomes uh, not so much an effort to um, determine why that person died. It becomes an effort to sort out who's who. We're inside of the Pima County cooler at the medical examiner's office, which has the capacity to hold hundreds of bodies. Now, this facility is much larger than other places around the country, specifically because of the issue of bodies being found along the border. Even so, lack of storage is a major headache. We had 300 and some remains. We had a refrigerated truck parked out here uh, to, to help us with overflow. As summer arrives, he expects they will need it again. The Department of Homeland Security recently boasted about the sharp drop in Border Patrol arrests, suggesting the government's crackdown has helped curb illegal immigration. The migrant deaths have remained consistently high. So it's deadlier. The border is absolutely deadlier. More than 6,000 have died along the U.S.-Mexico border since 1994, according to human rights groups. That's when Operation Gatekeeper, a program fortifying the international crossing with high-priced fencing, thousands of agents, and high-tech surveillance was launched. Border agents call this area below us the ravine, a place where migrants commonly try to scale the wall to get into the U.S. For the scores who try to make the crossing here, there are many others who choose a much more treacherous and sometimes deadly route into the U.S. Policymakers thought pushing the immigrant flow to deserts would deter migration. Instead, it has led to what some call a death trap. Internationally, migration is, um, uh, there's attempts to control migration through these same tactics, militarization, through building walls, and we see them in various places, um, in India and in Pakistan, you see this in Palestine and Israel, you've seen, we've saw, you know, disastrous wall attempt um, in, in Germany. Many remains found in the desert are merely bone fragments, making them difficult to identify. In other cases, remains of the missing are never found, leaving hundreds, perhaps thousands of families wondering what happened to their loved ones during their journey north. The reality is militarizing borders does not control migration. While politicians argue over who can spend the most money to fortify the border, hundreds more, John and Jane Doe's, who died chasing the American dream, will end up here at the Pima County morgue. In Tucson, Arizona, Ramon Galindo, RT.